Aloha beautiful souls. This is Ryan of Trans Solution and welcome to Transform with Ryan, where I am bringing you that light whenever there are shadows. Now in this Pick a Card Tarot reading, let's find out together why this happened. Lessons from your higher self. All right, so the intent of this reading here is to provide some healing energy once and for all for some difficult experience that you've had in your life. And what I'd like for you to do when you close your eyes and tune into that energy of your reading before you pick one of these cards is really recall something that you're truly ready to let go of, okay? And I know it sounds very simple when I say it out loud like that, but sometimes some people aren't ready to to let go of certain things that have happened to them in their life and that is completely okay if you're not ready to let go of it yet all right but this reading is meant to facilitate a sense of finality to it okay where you are going to be at peace with what happened all right so that's what we're calling in here is this peace this um sort of understanding from a higher level a higher frequency of why things happen the way they did okay we're tuning into your higher self and the lessons that were meant to be learned from that experience so only tune into something you're ready to fully let go of like truly honestly okay so go ahead and see if it is the hawthorne card that calls to you or perhaps it's jasmine I know a lot of my family and friends love the scent of jasmine or asphodel. So once you have made your selection, star fam, of course, you can go and click on the timestamp below in the description box and I'll see you at your reading. Hey there, star fam. So for those of you that were drawn to this lovely hawthorn tree right here let me know who you are in the comments down below let me know where you're tuning in from okay and so right out of the gate already this hawthorn is sending you the message and the lesson that your higher self wanted you to learn from this experience is understanding your value okay understanding that here on the surface so your appearances how you look the role that you play in society in your culture whatever that that is not all you are okay there's something deeper and more powerful within you your spirit your essence that part of you that makes up the cosmos that's connected to the collective consciousness that is your true value it doesn't matter what society thinks of you, your social class, your social standing, or how you look. That is not your true value here, okay? And so this experience that happened, the lesson here is for you to understand your true worth, your true value, okay? And, you know, here on this background scenery here, the tree is by itself. So it's standing firm in your own personal truth. All right, regardless of what other people think or say. Now, oftentimes, too, one way we come to this understanding is to go within, take time to ourselves, take a break from social media, take a break from socializing and interacting with certain people so that we can really connect with who we really are and our true selves. And other ways some people do it is through meditation. All right. And so that was the big lesson here is to connect with yourself, know who you truly are and understand your worth. So let's pull some more cards here to get some more information on this lesson. OK, from your higher self on why this experience happened to you and what was meant to be gained from all the trials and tribulations. And I think it should be noted and it should be said as well that, hey, you're here now. So you survived. You made it through. And now it's time to um, sort of relinquish and break the ties of this version of you that didn't know your true world once and for all. And to step into that empowered version of you here today, fully and completely. Okay, my loves. So let's see what we got here for you from this tea leaf fortune deck 
So we have older man. So definitely the situation could have involved an older man. What I'm getting from many of you, it was definitely like a father figure here. Okay. And really um, letting your opinion of yourself outweigh this father figure's opinion of you and stop living your life for their sake or to appease and make them happy. We have handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Okay, so definitely also from this experience, you were able to meet someone that became a very important person in your life. Maybe a, a very wonderful and beautiful friend. Maybe you were able to actually even reconnect with a family member, okay, that you didn't have such a strong relationship with before. So the bond between you and someone in your family, whether that's a sibling, a cousin, an uncle, an aunt, a grandparent, was strengthened and reached a new level of honesty and deep connection than was previously there, okay? So it's like they were metaphorically a stranger to you, like you didn't really know who they are, what their feelings and thoughts and opinions were because you never had the time or the opportunity or even the desire to connect with them um, in that way before. Here we have shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth, okay? And so what I'm really sensing, the meaning here is very deep, which is appropriate for this type of spiritual healing type of reading here, okay? It's that your opinion of yourself dictates your value out there in the world, okay? And so if you don't think you're worth much, then other people won't think you're worth much. All right. I know for myself personally, I've experienced this in my career, right? Where maybe I didn't think I was that great of a physician assistant or that great of a transformational life coach. And, um, you know, because I had that insecurity about myself and that lower self-esteem about myself, then, you know, the income that I was able to make reflected that, right? That I was getting paid less for the work that I do. Um, and I felt that I couldn't ask for a certain compens monetary compensation for what I do because I didn't think I was worth it. And once I was able to step into my role of my value, then I started to get connected with the right kind of people, okay? And I was able to increase my material wealth. And so that's an important lesson for a lot of us to um, really embrace and learn fully inside and out when it comes to our life path of our sense of self-worth will dictate our financial situation, okay? And then here we have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals all right and so you know anytime people face a challenge they could go one of two ways right they could be overwhelmed and inundated then they could like give up or um, as is the case with you you can increase your efforts keep your eye on the prize really stand strong and say to yourself you know enough is enough I'm not about this anymore, okay? Like, don't talk to me like that. Don't treat me that way. I don't accept that. Um, and when you increase your efforts in asserting yourself, okay, so not being, you know, rude or mean-spirited or vengeful, it's not really about that. It's about um, stepping into this role, right? <laughs> into this boot and, and letting the world know that, hey, this is who I am, this is what I'm about, this is what I'm worth, and then taking action to demonstrate that, all right? And so increasing your efforts here. Um, and that could be something like speaking your mind, um, looking for other opportunities in which you will be valued and appreciated, right? Other jobs. So doing that type of thing. Maybe some of you, it's even taking um, classes or working with a coach on confidence building and things like that. So increasing your efforts to achieve your goals. You had to put in that spiritual work, that meditative time out, right? That time to yourself. Put an effort to those um, activities, to achieve your goals here. And then we also have sun, happiness and well-being. Yes. So this lesson was meant to teach you and show you another 
level of happiness and well-being that you can achieve in your life when you honor who you truly are you honor your wealth and you don't accept anything less than that oh so beautiful i love that okay let's pull some tarot cards here for you as well to go just a little bit deeper into your reading and this lesson that your higher self was wanting for you to learn with this experience and what happened okay so let's do a little shuffle through like this and we have for you the ten of pentacles there you go we were just talking about achieving your goals and avoiding further losses of material wealth so in this situation here we can see that this person is very very well off financially is very secure in who they are and then we have next the four of pentacles so proving to yourself that you can overcome this obstacle and that this mountain that you saw before you this insurmountable unachievable 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 goal you can actually do it okay sometimes we have to prove to ourselves just how powerful and strong we are by going through these trials and tribulations and making it out on the other side successful here we have ace of swords so beautiful new way of thinking new mindset when it comes to your identity when it comes to who you are and see it's like this um, hand is coming out of this cloud with this sword and the horses are like backing up so definitely because you stepped into your power people are taking a step back at your awesomeness and like whoa okay this person's serious like they're not taking crap from nobody um, and on top of that you're now going to naturally repel people away from you who seek to take advantage of you all right by stepping into your power we have the chariot awesome so you're moving forward no longer are you being dragged around in chains and being you know at the mercy of other people's will the mercy of other people's influence and um you're forging a new path for yourself okay you're no longer a prisoner to your beliefs your limiting beliefs you're no longer a prisoner to them and then here we have the queen of chalices so what i'm seeing here is this is about self-love okay loving yourself for all that you are the good and the bad whatever you may you know categorize in that way but you are loving all of you now okay and um this has been an opportunity for you to really take a good look at your achievements, right? The achievements that help justify your worth and who you are and what you have to offer, you know, not just your family and friends and your job, but just like the world in general. So that's what you needed to learn is that you're, you were more than what you were giving yourself credit for. And you need to learn how to pat yourself on the back, how to celebrate who you are, celebrate your wins and not feel ashamed or guilty about it. All right. Cause you deserve to be celebrated. All right, my loves. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful lesson and message from your higher self. So make sure you like and comment down below. Let me know what you received from this reading and this new mindset and reality that you are affirming into your life about your self-worth and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure you turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any more high vibe readings here to assist you along your journey now a couple questions i want to ask of you before you head to your next reading so two questions number one are you experiencing a spiritual awakening and feeling like you are coming up with more questions and answers and you would like some guidance navigating them or two are you feeling stuck in life and you want to move beyond these barriers and limiting beliefs and such and begin manifesting what you truly dream for and want in life 
and in love and in career and so much more. Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, then I would love to connect with you. I would like to extend a special invitation for you to have an opportunity to have some one-to-one coaching with me to solve these problems and overcome these hurdles in your life. So go ahead and book a one-to-one discovery call with me. The link to do so is in the description box below. That discovery call will give us an opportunity to connect and see if we are a good match to work together for achieving your goals. All right, so I look forward to connecting with you. And until next time, Star Fam, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. And I'm sending you so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome back to another high vibe reading here at Transform with Ryan. <laughs> and I'm so excited to do these messages for you today because it feels so heartwarming and so uplifting. And I'm honored to pass these messages along from your higher self on these lessons that you were meant to learn after what happened. So why did this situation happened to you, what lesson and what meaning was behind it all. So let me know in the comments down below if you were drawn to this lovely Jasmine card here and let's get into your reading, okay? So Jasmine, let me know also if you like the scent of Jasmine because I know several people here love the scent of Jasmine um, in their perfumes and in their body sprays and soaps and lotions and things like that and let me know if you're one of them. So what's so amazing about jasmine is that it blooms at night and releases its fragrance when it is dark. And so the big lesson behind this is to never, hold on, that came out really, really weird the way I pronounced it. Um, Let's rewind. The big lesson here (laughs) is to never lose hope, never give up, okay? Because from the darkness can bloom and be birthed beautiful, beautiful things, okay? And that from the struggles, wondrous things can come into reality and that there's always hope. There's always light at the end of the darkness, okay? As a matter of fact, it's when things seem to get the darkest, is when you need to have your faith at its peak, at its strongest, okay, to help see you through, all right? And so with this situation um, that you experience, the main thing here is to never lose hope and to know that things will always, always work out just fine in the long run. Okay, so that's the big message here of Jasmine. Now let's kind of build on that. Let's get some more information from your higher self, from spirit, as to the lesson, you know, behind what happened to you, why it happened, what, 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 ha- what was the purpose, okay? So let's pull from these tea leaf fortune cards to receive more of that wisdom and that light and that love from your higher self regarding your past circumstances and what happened before. Okay, so we have wind chimes, peace and harmony. Okay, so definitely this was an opportunity for you to find that peace within the tribulations within the trials so so many people you know when they're faced with issues and challenges they like freeze up or they panic they have like anxiety and they worry like crazy um and this was an opportunity it was a chance for you to practice to raise to rise above that vibrationally okay so peace is the highest Um, vibration after enlightenment okay so peace and bliss is even higher than love and joy and so in times of struggle and difficulty it's important for you to know how to connect with that inner peace that faith and that trust that are associated with hope that things will work out okay at the very least they will work out okay and sometimes they can even work out a lot better than you could even have imagined all right Um, And 
you know, here it's the wind chimes and I'm reminded of when I go for a walk around my neighborhood. Some people do have wind chimes um, in their front yards and on their front porch, right? And it's such a joy to kind of hear the chimes ringing, especially when I'm lost in thought on my walk or like really into the song that I'm listening to or, you know, podcast, whatever, to just kind of be called out of that moment for, for a bit and hear the wind chimes and truly appreciate um, what I have in life, right? That I'm in a space where it's safe for me to walk on my own um, through a neighborhood without worry of being you know, robbed or hurt. Um, and also the fact that I have my feet that I'm in good health, that I can actually walk on my own two feet, you know, for miles and miles if I so desire um, to have that mobility and then breathe like this nice fresh air here in the Pacific Northwest because there's so many trees, um, right? So it reminds me of the things that I need to be grateful for. And oftentimes when we're in these difficult situations, that gratitude and remembering all the blessings that we do have already in our life can help carry us through. We have broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So again, for this situation that some of you are recalling, it was important for that connection to end, okay? Again, whether in romance or business, because you maybe outgrown it, or maybe it wasn't serving you, or it could have even been hurting you, right? And, and maybe because of loyalty, um, you decided to stick it out, or you know, maybe some of you were being a bit stubborn, especially in the business aspect. And it was important for you to understanding, to understand the process of releasing, okay? Releasing and letting go of things that um, you know in your heart of hearts isn't good for you, um, despite what your mind and your ego and maybe even other people are telling you, all right? So the process of letting go, letting go of fears, letting go of worry, letting go of doubt, okay? Here we have wedge. Oh my gosh, this kind of looks like a cheesecake, like a fancy cheesecake. It could even be cheese, right? <laughs> Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want, okay? And so um, I feel like this is definitely in line with this romance or this business, okay? Where there is definitely maybe a third party for some of you that came in and was creating conflict and uncertainty, fear, worry, doubt within your situation. And, you know, coming back to this message of the Jasmine again is they bring that that sort of shadowy dark energy with them with this third party and it's for you to really again connect with yourself connect with your faith your hope your trust your love and say hey what's really happening here and is this really worth it is this worth my time or, and my energy can this even be salvaged or saved or is it time for me to move on right have a hopeful new beginning we have and you know obviously um this person you started to see them for their true colors if it wasn't apparent for you but for you before and now you know to really not interact with them at all or just to keep your distance um and have your awareness up your intuition up whenever they're involved okay and to only trust them so far and next we have tankard celebration fun enjoyment good so this you know once this situation is over um and you are done with it it's an opportunity now to celebrate okay enjoy um bid this goodbye adieu bon voyage <laughs> as you release it back to source and let it be transmuted, all these emotions and these energies associated with this thing that happened before. Um, and really, going back to that notion of gratitude, you, you find now that it's so much easier to come up with reasons to celebrate, reasons to enjoy what you already have, okay? Um, Part of the energy that I'm tuning into right now is whatever this thing was that happened that you, that you ultimately parted ways with, that you broke off, that you ended, right? There was a certain attachment that you had to it. You know, an attachment is one of those things that really kind of um, messes things up a bit when it comes to law of attraction and living our life authentically and fully. Um, 
is when we're attached to certain things and um, we're not willing or open to making space for new things, okay? Or we kind of put our worth and our happiness to be dependent on this one thing being present in our life and not accepting and embracing the fact that, hey, there's a lot of things that could bring us happiness, joy, and fulfillment into our life, that it's not the sole responsibility of this one thing to provide us with that fulfillment, okay? That there is an abundance, again, of reasons to celebrate, reasons to have fun, reasons to enjoy life, okay? And it's not just all dependent on this one thing. And I think, you know, after going through this, you've proven to yourself that you can survive without this and that this isn't necessary. And then, you know, I trust that many of you are already experiencing even better things. And if you haven't already, then I know for a fact that you will here soon. And then finally, we have the Ram card, a stubborn, aggressive person. Okay, again, I'm feeling like this is the wedge um, for many of you, but also I'm seeing that for some of you, you started to realize areas in areas and even ways in which you've been stubborn or a bit aggressive to get what you want. And now you're able to release that, okay? And you don't have to necessarily be aggressive all the time to get what you want. In fact, you can simply be in the position of receiving, okay? Just being open to getting what you want and not having to fight for it all the time. Um, and, you know, for others of you too, you started to see that, hey, being stubborn and aggressive is not a good look on somebody. And so now you have this increased awareness, right? And awareness is kind of that light at the end of the tunnel, um, like that stroke of insight um, that, hey, what are the ways in which I'm being stubborn and aggressive? And how can I perhaps release that and let that go and simply allow so that my path can be a little bit more aligned, a little bit easier, right? I don't have to experience this craziness again. And that's the whole point of releasing, okay? And, and understanding from a higher perspective why things happen the way they did so that we don't have to repeat things over and over and over again and keep experiencing the same heartache and drama over and over again, right? Once the lesson is learned, then those experiences and those type of people are no longer a part of your life. So let's see what the tarot has to say. We have the seven of cups here. And you know what I'm hearing with this card is this understanding and this knowing that the grass isn't always greener on the other side okay um that okay that was actually something a little bit different that came through for other people all right that um for others that were chasing after something and i i don't really think it was you um, it was sort of the experience of other people. So this person that was the wedge, this person that was stubborn and aggressive, this person that you had to part ways with, okay? That um, whatever it was that they were going after instead that was not aligned with you, they came to realize that the grass isn't greener on the other side, okay? That maybe their ambition, their greed, um, their selfishness, whatever kind of got the better of them. And they realized like, wow, um, I really had a good thing going and I messed it up. Okay. Um, it's like that, that Joni Mitchell song. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Right. <laughs> that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. So they really experienced that. And for you, you kind of learn that lesson through them where you're like, wow, you know, like you went after this because you thought it was so amazing and then you realize that that really wasn't worth it, okay? And now you realize that you made a mistake and thank you for showing me that I need to be mindful of that too, that, you know, if I'm willing to break um, a relationship, break a connection over something else, that I really need to make sure that that something else is totally worth it to me, okay? And that I'm not going with just a whim or being slave to my desires okay like you know to kind of make that make a little bit more sense 
Some of you, it could have been a situation where your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner left you and had an affair with somebody else. And they thought like, oh, I really love that person and they're amazing and I want to be with them instead of you. And they came to realize like, you know, things aren't actually that much better with this person than it was with you. Um, And so it was sort of a lesson to everybody like, hey, don't take for granted the good things that are already in your life. Okay, because again, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. And sometimes people think that, you know, they're trading a problem for a solution, a better situation. But really, it's like you're trading a problem for another problem, you know. Okay, so we have Knight of Swords. We have Five of Cups. Okay, there you go. This card is totally affirming what I said. See how this person is like, shoot all this spilled wine, people walking away from them, right? So a lot of bridges burned, connections severed as a result of the action. We have King of Swords. Ooh, right here with the Knight of Swords. Okay. And we have the Six of Cups. So definitely what I'm hearing is that this is something of um, a past. I'm even sensing that this was like a karmic connection with this person here so you could have very much had past lives together with whoever is involved with your reading okay that you've had past lives together and this is um playing out a certain scenario with that soul and your soul okay that you you know the soul contract that you two had together as to how this life was going to play out all right so um that karmic lesson has been fulfilled um, if there was a karmic debt there that has been fulfilled and now you can move forward with a fresh start okay and here with the king of swords and the knight of swords really what i'm getting here is um you know throughout this situation a lot of words were probably said okay a lot of opinions were probably shared um probably in very colorful ways, I would imagine, right? Maybe certain um, swear words and insults were thrown. Um, But all in all, what came of this as well is understanding the importance of communication, okay? Being honest with each other, keeping, you know, stop hiding things behind each other's back and creating more issues, more drama, more problems, and really having open and honest communication. And that's important. And also really saying what you believe and what you think honestly. That's what the Knight of Swords is all about, is expressing yourself authentically and truly and not, you know, walking on eggshells around people or or even like insulting people when you really didn't mean to and saying hurtful things when you really didn't mean to, um, you know, like knowing better ways to communicate with people so that they really get the core of your message and what you want to tell them and not be distracted by the insults. And, and you know, some people will like completely turn off, tune out, ignore you or fight back when you say mean things. And so it's about healthy communication, healthy dialogue. And so this was a huge opportunity for you and this, hopefully also this other person to learn those skills. All right, my love. So let me know what you thought of your reading. Like and comment down below what you're calling in, what you're finally releasing um, after hearing your reading today. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on high vibe readings to help you along your journey. (laughs) Now, I'd like to ask a couple questions of all you lovely star fam before you head to another reading here. Number one, Are you experiencing a spiritual awakening and finding yourself with more questions than answers and in need of guidance? And or number two, are you feeling stuck in life and you want to rise above these limiting thoughts, limiting beliefs, so you can actually start manifesting what you want out of life, out of love, out of career and so much more? 
Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, then I would like to extend a special invitation for you to connect with me for an opportunity for one-to-one -one coaching, okay? To solve these problems, navigate these issues, and come up ahead and above, all right? So in the description box down below, there is a link to book a one-to-one -one discovery call with me. I encourage you to do so, so that we can connect and see if we're a good match for me to assist you with achieving your goals in life. So I look forward to connecting with you. And until next time, my star fam, sending you so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye. Hey there, star fam. Welcome to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. <laughs> so happy to be doing this reading for you to help you understand and finally get that piece for why it happened and understanding the lessons gained from the perspective of your higher self, okay? So those of you that were drawn to this third card, Asphodel, let me know who you be down in the comments below. Let me know where you're tuning in from and let's get into your reading. So this plant is one that I actually um, have, I'm not super duper familiar with, but what I've learned of this plant is that it carries with it this energy of nostalgia. So what I'm getting intuitively as far as the significance of this card for you that we're drawn to it is this experience what went down what happened was to help remind you of who you truly are where you've been how far you've come okay because what I'm hearing from your higher self is that you were at a point in your life when this happened that you were getting a little bit off track that you were getting a bit distracted from your goals and your dreams right and this situation occurred to remind you again like why are you here why are you doing what you um um were meant to do okay so it's kind of like you maybe strayed a little bit and what happened helped you remind you of who you truly are, what you're actually supposed to be doing, what your dreams and goals were from the start so that you can reconnect with them and realign yourself and, and get back on track, okay? So, wow, very, very powerful message, you know, and sometimes it's it's this chaos, this, this craziness that happens in our life to help us kind of take that pause and be like, WTH, what is going on here? Like, this is not where I wanted to be. This is not where I wanted to go. How did I end up here? Let's get back on track, okay? So in a way, you can even see it as like a wake-up call, all right? This happened because it was a wake-up call because, again, you were going a little bit too far from the path that you chose for yourself before entering this life okay before being born into this physical reality and you were getting distracted and you were straying away so that's why everything went down and happened the way it did was to get you back on track and let's see what this tea leaf fortune deck has to share to expand on that and give you greater insights all right so one more shuffle here and let's see what we got. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. There you go. So what I'm sensing here is, again, like your life was not in a spot where you originally had planned or intended it to be. And this was a great moment for you to stop, find that calm in the middle of the storm and, um, you know, strategize again get things in order again okay start planning how you're going to move forward with more clarity and next we have archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up okay so what i'm sensing with this card is you know the track that you were on there was a path one path in particular that you were headed towards and it was not really the ideal ending okay not really the ideal position you wanted to move towards and put yourself in okay and so again this wake up call to kind of shift gear so that you can go on a different direction that has more opportunities and possibilities for you okay versus going in this downward spiral okay that only had one 
um, likely outcome and it wasn't necessarily a good one. Okay, let me just not sugarcoat it. It was not a good direction that you were going. Okay, it was a direction um, where there was nothing more but pain, suffering, and injury, and whatever. So this happened because your higher self was wanting you to move away from that and get back to um, a more aligned and authentic path for yourself, like why you're really here. We have firecracker, excitement, okay? So what I'm hearing for some of you is definitely you were lured away from all the excitement and the glitz and the glam um, and the the good feelings that you were getting, but all of those things are temporary. And some of those things were even superficial and not sustainable. And so this firecracker is like, snap, get out of that, move away, right? It was that sort of, Wake up call again, like I said, I can't say that enough. <clears throat> Lion, time to act, okay? So definitely it was that moment in time where it's like, yo, if you don't do something different, if you don't change course here, you're not going to like where you end up. So it's time to take aligned, brave, courageous action that is true to your heart here because this is not really what you want okay you were misled you were tricked into thinking that this was the path for you but it truly wasn't all right and you know in your heart of hearts it wasn't and then we have fire oh my god fire and firecracker strong emotion passionate love or hate okay so what i'm hearing here is that you were definitely consumed by the fires of passion okay whether that be on the love end or the hate end it really consumed you clouded your judgment here maybe you weren't thinking right when you were overtaken by this passion and this fire and so that's why things happened the way they did to kind of calm you down quell these strong emotions maybe even sprinkle a little bit of water there to douse the flame <laughs> so that you can think right it's i'm seeing this image of like cold water right some people they get cold water splash on them to not only wake up but to sort of calm down right when their passions and they're getting overheated it's like calm down take a breather pause for a second right that cold water makes you freeze up stop doing what you're doing and then rethink things <laughs> okay now let's see what the tarot has to impart upon you from your higher self as well on why things happened why things went down the way they did and again what lessons were to be learned from the experience oh my gosh my nose is so itchy it's like allergy season here in the pacific northwest and i have have the itchiest nose thankfully not too much runny nose <laughs> so we have nine of wands ten of pentacles six of pentacles knight of swords and three of swords okay so definitely spirit was steering you away from heartbreak, heartache, pain, suffering. And here with the Nine of Wands, Spirit was trying to protect you from getting even more wounds, more in injuries, whether physical or metaphorical, from the path that you were headed on, okay? Because here is like this bear that's kind of being territorial, um, warning you, like, get away from this area, don't stay here, don't come into this space, right? Um, and spirit was trying to guard you and protect you um and unfortunately you probably did sustain some you know emotional wounds or physical wounds um in the process but just know spirit was like it could have gotten a lot worse okay especially like who knows you tried to get into the bear's territory and you got some minor injuries and wounds but if you kept going in this bare territory this dangerous territory um you could have gotten like legit mauled <laughs> okay they that's what they usually associate with bears when you kind of go into their territory or you anger them as they maul you they really do a number on you okay and what spirit is also saying is like 
there's this element of charity that happened, okay? Like there were some really, really amazing souls that stood by you through this and did a good deed by helping you and sticking by you and not giving up on you um, throughout this period. And so it might be wise for you to communicate to them and let them know um, just how much their support and their love and their compassion meant to you. Okay, when this house was burning down and you were going to war with your, um, you know, true calling and it was like a, you know, I don't want to get too dramatic, but it was like a fight for your soul here. Okay, um, and you really were aided and assisted by your angels, your guides, some earthly beings here in that process. Okay, and what I'm seeing here with this Ten of Pentacles is... Spirit was helping you try to avoid material loss, um, to avoid losing home, losing family, losing finances, losing money um, throughout this process. And that's why I didn't, you know, things worked out the way they did to try to av avoid this potential disaster here. Um, and to secure, that's what I'm hearing, to secure your future. All right. Um, and so all that was done, all that transpired was for your highest and greatest good to help you reconnect with, again, your life purpose, why you're here and all the good and wonderful things that you can actually accomplish and achieve during this lifetime. All right. So um, I hope this gives you more peace. Like and comment down below. Let me know what resonated with you the most. Let me know what you're finally putting to rest and letting go of as a result of this reading here today. And don't forget, of course, to subscribe to this channel and turn that notification bell on to make sure you don't miss out on any other high vibe readings to help you along your journey. Now, I have a couple of questions for you before you head to another reading here. Number one, are you experiencing a spiritual awakening and you're finding yourself with more questions than answers and in need of guidance? And number two, or number two, are you feeling stuck in life, feeling stuck in repeating patterns, limiting beliefs, and you'd like to rise above them and break free of them once and for all so that you can manifest all that you truly want in life, in love, in your career, and so much more? Well, if you answered yes to either of those questions, then I'd really love to connect with you. So I'm extending a special invitation to have an opportunity for one-to-one -one coaching with me to help work through these problems and rise above them. And there is a link in the description box down below to book a one-to-one -one discovery call with me so that we can connect and, and see if we're a good match to work together to help you achieve all your goals. So I'm looking forward to connecting with you. And until next time, Star Fam, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Okay. Big, big, big hug to you, especially. Take care. See you next time. Bye.